Aloha, you're watching F5 On Demand. We're here in San Francisco, the city by the bay for RSA 2014. I'm Senior Technical Marketing Manager, Peter Silva, and I have Michael Koifman with me. He's the Senior Global Security Solutions Architect, right, Michael? Yep, you got it. That's like a five initial acronym there, yeah, Michael. I need to think of anything more. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier this week, we announced our Secure Web Gateway, and we actually have a video of the demo for Secure Web Gateway. While I have Michael here is that we're going to layer on to Secure Web Gateway, aren't we, Michael? What are we going to layer? Right, absolutely. We're going to talk about layering the federated identity on top of it. The key thing is that the Secure Web Gateway services protect the user access to the outbound internet, as well as cloud and SaaS applications. If you go and walk through the RSA show floor, like I did this week, you'll see a lot of companies are talking about cloud and SaaS security. How do you secure these applications? How do you make access seamless? Excuse me, seamless? How do you gain visibility? And things like that. So what we're gonna talk about today is the fact that APM and Secure Web Gateway Services together can deliver not just secure web gateway services for the outbound connections, but also provide seamless identity federation and sign-on for this cloud and SaaS applications. And that was one of the things I was asking you earlier as we were prepping for the video was, heck, I'm already on the inside. Why do you know, why do I, I'm getting protected on the outbound. Why do I need to be authenticated? And you said it right there for cloud applications, SaaS applications. Right, absolutely. And the reason for this is typically companies have separate deployments for this, right? You have your traditional, you know, proxy, secure gateway product that controls outbound access, and you have a separate product that will do identity federation because it's tied into your Active Directory or things like that. And now you're able to combine all that within one product, one access policy for ease of visibility and control and seamless end user experience. Right, and then the, obviously the power of the big IP being able to layer all of those services. And of course our, our synthesis, the vision for software defined application services, really talks about the ability to apply those services no matter where those applications live. Absolutely, and keep in mind that Secure Web Gateway Services is an extension of the Access Policy Manager product, which does this federation. So if you choose to deploy Secure Web Gateway Services with a five, you already have APM, you already have ability to perform the seamless federation identity for your cloud and SaaS applications. Sweet, so let's take a look, Michael. All right, let's, let's pile on SWG, eh? Let's pile on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at the uh, GUI of the SWG, as you can see. Typical enterprise, people are block, uh, excuse me, going to various um, websites and applications. So we are going to go into my corporate desktop right there. This desktop is under the main. So I just came in, I'm a regular user, and I wanna go and start browsing my day, right? So where do I go, of course? I go to Facebook. Let's go waste some social media time, eh? Exactly. All right, well, it's because my proxy settings are not defined. Let's go check them. Main policy not working. All right. <laughs> Let's make sure that uh, we go through our proxy here. Some people get all worked up when mistakes happen. Personally, I like to kind of record through them because it, it shows real world. It shows certain things can happen, got to fix them, and Absolutely. then voila, it works. Absolutely. And of course, keep in mind that our product could be deployed not just an explicit proxy of this example, but also as a transparent proxy. So the user, when you implement it, the user will never need to reconfigure the browser. Or need to, you don't need to implement the main policies or changes to reconfigure end user browsers. Yep. So now my traffic is supposed to go through SWG. Let's try to go here. Hey, SWG at work, I'm blocked, right? So let's go here, take a look at it. That's actually, uh, I think that's a good example showing how you know it does go through without the proxy in place and then going through the proxy, then of course it's blocked because we're taking that action on that, that block, that user block. Right, exactly. So uh, now I'm authenticated to this proxy. Let's look at the sessions here. First of all, here's my session, right? I just came in, right, uh, 1020. Uh, you know, I'm that Koifman, it's all here. So now let's take a look at our reports, right? So we can take a look at our reports, see what's going on. Here it's me browsing over last hour, right? You can see what's allowed, what's blocked, right? See what, what do they do wrong today? That's me, I'm the only offender. Bum, okay. bum, 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 bum. Right? And everything, hey, I'm going to social Facebook and advertisements, right? So that's what was been blocked. Yep. So okay, let's get back to productivity, right? I need to read my email. 
So of course, uh, company is embracing cloud, right? We're doing Office 365. So let me try to go to my Office 365 mailbox, which of course is using SAML for authentication. So I'm going there, and you see things are happening really, really fast, but essentially, I go to Office 365, it's asking for identity from the IDP provider. F5 Big IP, the same Big IP is already configured as the identity provider. It knows that I'm authenticated to SWG using NTLM. So, hey, I grab this identity, session is in place, and I'm going to send the SAML assertion to Office 365. So here it is, I'm in, my mailbox is clean, I can go and take a vacation. <laughs> you know, I have, I have a question. So you went, so we, we blocked it going through the proxy, and then you connected through your remote desktop to then, and then from your remote desktop, you outbound to your SaaS application, right? Right. Now, from, from that SaaS application, you're still uh, being controlled through the secure web gateway. Like there's no exactly. way, there's no way to kind of try to find your, find your you know, route out to some site that'll then allow you to launch from there to that block site through yeah, the proxy. Absolutely, now actually you mentioned it. So let's actually take a look and see what F5 is doing on a single device here. I am in here in my view virtual desktop that I am accessing through secure PCRWP proxy that's part of Access Policy Manager. Yep. So I'm in the enterprise through F5 device. That view image is pointing outbound through Secure Web Gateway Services, right? So now the same box, Secure Web Gateway Services, is controlling me for the outbound access. And that same box is acting as the identity provider to the cloud and SaaS applications. So from, when I go from the VDI image to Office 365, Salesforce, et cetera, it seamlessly authenticates me because I'm in the domain, it knows already who I am but, and passes those credentials, right? So of course, if you don't use VDI, if you just enterprise, you know, it's just the last two would apply. And if you have VDI, you can have complete control from remote access to the outbound access to federation all within one box and one policy. And I would imagine, and I don't know this, that's why I'm asking is, uh, this is through the, uh, the browser based, if they're connected through the F5 client, the, yeah. the edge client, so they're, they're VPN into the enterprise and connected. They Those the same, benefits, same yes, not only the same benefits, but also the protection of that outbound access too, right? Right, absolutely. So as part of the edge client, when users log into the full network access, they can be automatically provisioned with a pack file, or if you route all the traffic, you know, if you don't do split tunneling, then of course you route all the traffic through the VPN and the same box can act as secure web gateway, right? So absolutely, you get full protection no matter which method of access you choose, remote or enterprise and premise, and you can achieve it all within the same device. And so for administrators, obviously this allows them to manage users more efficiently, you know, protect their assets. What else? Absolutely. Consolidate. It's consolidate. You have one GUI, one policy type, so you know, you know, training is reduced, you know, you're troubleshooting everything in one place, right? I mean, there's like remote access, outbound connectivity, and federation. You can troubleshoot all of those three things in one consolidated place, in one log file. I mean, how cool is that, right? Yeah. And you guys thought Secure Web Gateway was cool. Now we're adding services on top of Secure Web Gateway, Michael. Absolutely, and that is really the power of a five, right? We combine the best of breed of our solutions to create very compelling reasons for our customers to deploy them, right? So they don't just gain the functionality. Of course, Secure Web Gateway is an extremely high-performing solution, right? But there are many solutions like that on the market. What we offer when you consolidate those functionalities on the same box and provide ease of experience for the end user and administrator and reduce complexity and cost, that is the true winning combination. And increase performance at the same and time. increase performance, absolutely. Low TCL, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff, Michael. I've really appreciated. Much, yeah. This was kind of interesting. You know, we've we been talking about Secure Web Gateway all week, and then yesterday Michael came up to me and he's like, dude, I got this, you know, we've been doing this other demo too. I got a great idea. Can we show it? And I was like, absolutely. So, Thank great you. job. All right, a little bit more about layering services on the big IP, specifically Secure Web Gateway and then adding your identity, I, I federated identity to that session. So, for Michael, and I got Mark behind the lens, first time behind the camera, Mark, thank you. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.